Hello, Living Dead Dolls fans. This is Josh, aka Doggy Pants, from the Mezco Toys Forum, um, coming at you in partnership with Past Generation Toys for another Living Dead Dolls review. Um, today, I'm going to be reviewing Resurrection Dominique. Before I get started, though, I've had quite a few questions, and I thought, you know, I'll take the first couple minutes and answer them for you guys. What the heck? Um, the first question that I received was, uh, what is your favorite and least favorite doll? And that's actually difficult for me because I think, you know, there's, there's the doll that you love that you can't really explain why, and there's also what you think is the best quality or the coolest doll that, that Mezco Toys actually put out. Um, and so I'm going to give you two for both. Sorry, it's a little bit of a cop-out, I know. But um, my favorite doll of all time is Damien from series one, the original. Uh, it's the first doll I ever bought. It's the entire reason that I got started collecting. Um, so, you know, I gotta love him unconditionally. Plus, I'm a horror movie buff and the nod to the omen. Um, you know, gotta love it. Um, the best doll, though, that I think they ever made is uh, the 10th anniversary Exorcist, um, the Asian exclusive, the yellow one. Um, that doll was perfect. The outfit was perfect. It was incredible. I wish I still had it. I sold mine on a stupid gotta have some money to pay rent kind of day, and uh, and I regret it till this day. But what can you do? Uh, for my least favorite dolls, I always hate doing this because, you know, I, I love Living Dead Dolls. I love Mezco Toys. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, my least favorite doll just... Personally, um, I'm not a big fan of is Spider Bite. Um, I I just think the the stuff on her face is lost and it just looks like a big like smear. Um, and her haircut was really choppy and strange. I don't think she was a bad quality doll. I just she wasn't really for me. I didn't like her. But the least uh, I think the worst quality doll that they've made so far is Snow White, which uh, I reviewed not that long ago. Um, I think that could be the worst doll they've ever made. Um, yeah, but regardless, love them all still. Snow White's still in my collection. So, you know, what can you do? Um, people have also asked if they could see my collection. Um, that being said, if you go to the Living Dead Dolls Facebook page, I actually started that page, and um, in the photos there are pictures of me, uh, you know, when I was younger, it was a few years back, um, with my entire collection at the time, and it was a complete collection, um, because I was a completist back then. I had every doll that they ever made, with the exception of Chiller Exorcist, which, um, I was saving up to get, but then I, uh, moved to grad school, and so I decided to let them go, because it just wasn't practical to keep collecting and, and lug those across the country. So, um, since then, I've, um bought dolls again and now I've just decided to kind of keep the ones that I love and go from there so I'm gonna take the camera Ooh, hold on I'll try not to make you vomit and we're gonna turn around and look at my collection so these are the dolls I have right now the lights kind of bad but what can you do um, if you look up top I have all of series one um, all of series two I have all of Series 4, because Series 4 is one of my favorites. I have most of Series 3. I didn't keep Schizo. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Scary Clowns. Um, and I let go of Sheena not that long ago, too. And I'll probably let go of Lilith pretty soon. I love Bride of Valentine, though. Um, and then I have uh, the really important uh, two packs up top, which are Hazel and Hattie, uh, Died and Doom, and... Um, uh, oh, jeez, hello. Abigail Crane and Mr. Graves. Um... I have uh, series 23 here, which I think is one of the best series that they've made recently. It's incredible. Uh, Teddy is uh, one of my favorite dolls of all time now. Um, and plus uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy, which you guys know that I love. I did a review of them. Series 24, which I thought were pretty decent. Um, I... Ooh, sorry, the light's a little weird. Uh, I may not keep all of them because um, I wasn't a huge fan of the concept, but I thought they were... They were you know, they, they were good for the most part. Um, and then the bottom ones are just dolls that I happen to have right now um, that I usually buy and sell as they go, uh, you know, as we go. Um, yeah, so uh, Goria and Peggy Goo, two of my favorites. I'm going to keep those for a while. Um, uh, Jasper over in the corner, love her. Um, the only other dolls that I have are, sorry, hope you don't vomit. Um, over here I have the latest uh, Resurrection variants. 
Um, yeah. But uh, that's my toy collection. Uh, in the room, I also have um, a lot of Muppet stuff. I'm a huge Muppet fan. I have uh, my giant Gonzo there. And then I also collect uh, Monster High dolls. I don't know if we can see all of them there. I've got quite a bit of those right now. Um, and I think I need to start selling them because they're getting a little out of hand and a little expensive. Um, yeah, so that's my collection. Uh, thanks for looking around. I also have some toys uh, in other rooms around my apartment, but I'm not going to take you for a whole tour or anything. Just hang out in my little toy office. Um, the last question that I'm going to answer um, was in regards to my tattoos. Um, uh, the one on my forearm here whoop, is a little symbol I made out of all the first letters of my nieces and nephews' names. Um, and it was also kind of, uh, my FU to theater at the time, because I got out of grad school and I was like, I just want a visible tattoo. If you want to cast me, you got to cast this. Um, and then the other one is, um, like I said, I'm a Muppets fan, so it's this outline drawing of this artist that I love online who did a photo of the Muppets looking away. So I have uh, Fozzie, Kermit, Gonzo, and then Gonzo's holding Camilla's hand down there. So that's what they are. Um, yeah, so... Those are the questions answered, and I spent six minutes doing that. I'm sorry, it's going to be a long video. All right, <clears throat> back to the review. Okay, so, wow, my lighting's a little weird, but what can you do? I have Resurrection Demonique. This is actually um, a pretty pretty great doll. Um, we'll start with the coffin. There we go, better lighting. Um, the coffin is uh, standard black again, no handles. Um, we have the, uh, the chipboard, I'm trying to not get the re reflection from my computer screen, is um, the, the doll laying on the slab and it's got the little toe marks for Demonique, just exactly the same as Schizo, it just says Demonique. Um, yeah, so, Demonique, um, she is, uh, a great doll. She was from series 10, um, and it, she was kind of a funny doll because, um, and I think this is correct, um, they created her off of either a friend or a fan named Demonique, um, and so she's a tribute to somebody. Uh, one of the reasons that I like her um, is because she kind of has a bit of an ethnic flair to her. She seems um, almost maybe Hispanic or something. Um, just uh, her skin tone, um, just, yeah, and so I love that because I love ethnic dolls. I have been waiting forever for Mezco Toys to put out an African-American female doll. Poor Macumba is by himself. I know that there are some that you can kind of claim, oh yeah, that's definitely an ethnic doll and that they're just dead, so they're paler. No, 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 no. Give me, give me a straight up African-American doll and, and don't make it a voodoo doll. Just saying. That's, that's all I gotta say. Please, come on. It's been 24 seasons, or series, so let's do that. Um, anyway, so I like that aspect of her. She feels kind of Hispanic. Um, what was funny about the doll, though, was she kind of had this outfit on that kind of made her look a little, like, prostitute-ish. Um, she had fishnets, and she had the skirt with this weird zipper thing, which was kind of odd. Um, but one thing that was, she had fantastic hair. Her hair was really curly, the colors were really cool, and she had great horns. Um, so when they made the resurrection version, I was like, yeah, let's, let's see Demonique. Let's see what they do with her. Um, and she doesn't really look that much like her original doll. I mean, she doesn't have the skin tone that makes her look, um, slightly ethnic, um, which I was kind of bummed by. Uh, the only thing that really does look like the original doll is the, uh, eyebrows and the horns. Um, so that's the only reason that I can tell that it's Demonique. That kind of bothered me. Um, that being said, this is a great, great doll. Um, she has the wings, uh, which are the higher set wings. Uh, we first saw those, I believe, with Resurrection Lilith. Um, and they're ball jointed right here in the top corner. What's interesting about her wings, and I've noticed this with all of these sets of wings, for some reason, this side, uh, on the right side of opens all the way. This side, though, it, it has a hard time standing up, which it's driven me crazy. And I know it's not just this doll, because every doll that has these wings has that same issue. I don't understand why. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, but she has those wings. They're nice, and you can kind of pose her however you feel. Uh, her dress is really fantastic. It's, um, again, has nothing to do with Demonique, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, long dress. She has it's overlaid with this uh, maroon color, black underneath. Um, it's a lot of detail. It's really, really beautiful. She has this corset that's completely laced up at the front. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in this video, but... Uh, it's really nice. Uh, it's got kind of a mesh feel. It's not separate. It's sewn on to the costume though, just so you know, so you can't take the corset off. Um, and then she also has this cute little bow tie. Why? I don't know, but I love it. Um, and on her high-necked, uh, outfit, which I, I really, really do love. She has these weird, um, on her arms, these weird little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see these, these like black ruffles, but they're just sewn onto the front part of it. Don't go all the way around. I don't really understand that, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, one thing about the outfit, though, uh, there is a lot of stray threads. I'm finding them all over. I mean, you can see chunks of, of red on uh, her bottom skirt, so I'm constantly trying to pull that off, constantly cutting away um, little threads here and there. Um, but this is a lot of detail for a doll, so um, it doesn't really bother me because the costume is really, really nice. Um, yeah, that being said, her makeup, perfect. We have the glass eyes. They're yellow, which is the same color as Schizo's, which I was kind of like, eh, why, why didn't you make them a little more original? But that's fine. Whatever, whatever. They're nice. The makeup's great. Her lipstick is a really dark red. It's lovely. Uh, she has the regular black and white horns that you see for um, Demonique. The worst thing about this doll, and the biggest problem I have, is that she has got terrible, terrible hair. And it's true for all of the Resurrections this series, and I really, really have a problem with it. Um, the Miss Eerie, who, which I've been waiting to be resurrected forever, the Resurrection version, her hair is the worst hair ever. If you run your fingers through it, you get chunks. I just did it right there, so you can see. Um, it doesn't want to stay. It is fairly thick um, because of the curl in it, but it's actually not rooted all that thickly. Uh, but, you know, it's okay because, frankly, with dolls with um, wings, the hair, you can either pull it all back through this tiny little opening and keep it behind there, or you can pull out the front chucks and kind of put them in front like that, like I do, so you can see that she has long hair. So you can't really mess with the hair that much anyway. So, whatever, you know? It's it's not great. I'm not going to be messing with it, but that's fine. Um, I'm worried that this might be a trend with Living Dead Dolls recently. Um, I really, I really want the rooting to be better. Um, when you look back, and I know it's really far, Series 1 and stuff like that, but their hair is so nice. It's so soft and you can run your fingers through it doesn't tangle um and it's rooted really thick and and it's great and uh it's just gotten worse and worse and worse and now it's like getting to the point where it's, it's come on guys you know um but that being said this is a fantastic doll you should really check her out um and i don't think she's one of the most popular ones uh, right now, Schizo, surprisingly, Schizo seems to be the most popular of the series, and I, I've said, actually, he is probably my favorite, because, um, the quality of him is really good, especially in the Resurrection variant. Um, but both her and the variant version of her, they're really great. The costume's fantastic, the color is excellent. Again, I don't think it has a lot to do with the original doll, but that doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, so, check her out. Um, she has, uh, sorry, I just want to mention her boots too. She has the standard, uh, standard kind of witchy boots that you see on some of these dolls. And she does have socks, but they're really short socks. So they're, they go way inside the boot, but at least she has socks, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. So that being said, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else else. Oh, I do want to say this. She, she does have pretty bad staining because her skirt is uh, black and we know that black ink comes off on the dolls really easily. Uh, so just be aware of that. Again, you can take a uh, fingernail polish remover, whatever you choose, if you really feel the need to get rid of those, but it doesn't bother me because it's under costumes, so whatever. Um, great doll. Check her out. Buy her. Uh, out of four stars, I would give her... I, I want to give her three and a half, but I think I have to give her three just because of um, the hair 
it, it's really close between two and a half and three uh, with the hair and, and the straight threads. But I, I think three because she's the, the idea, the concept is great and she's actually a good doll to have and I really like her. So I'm going to give her three, three stars. Check her out. Give her a shot. She's a great doll. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon with another Living Dead Dolls review. Take care. I mean about future calamity. I used to think the idea was obsolete until I heard the old man dampen his feet.